This week's U.S. challenge is Chef AJ from Panzas on the Green, and certainly Chef AJ, one of the best chefs in the capital region. He certainly exemplifies that. He does stage in Europe, as well as as far south as Cuba. One of the first as well to bring Pride of New York to the capital region, and that's why we've chosen Chef AJ for this particular challenge. Chef AJ, I just got off the phone with a customer. Okay. They'll be here in 30 minutes. Okay. What I'm looking for from you is menuable items with a cost to the plate of under $2 okay. per portion. Would be either an entree for lunch okay. or appetizer. Okay. You choose. My challenge to you is I've got set ingredients. Okay. They are looking at a middle scale okay. bistro with a little bit of what I would call comfort food. I think you can do it. I just spoke to the customer, learned a bit about the pantry, what's in that pantry. These are the items that I chose for you. And the secret ingredient Miss Sydney's. Got the original marinade, the chutney, and Earthquake Eddie's. I think this is something you're a little familiar with. Um, yeah, actually, kind of funny. I'm cooking with my own products today, huh? It's a small company. We started about 10 years ago in the Capital District. Uh, two of the products are uh, uh, basically gluten free, which is nice with some of these ingredients that I think I can uh, definitely incorporate. Um, and how much time do I have? Uh, oof. All right, I'll make it happen. Are you excited? Yeah, absolutely. I think I, yep, I'll make it happen. Definitely. Awesome. Definitely. You got it. And your challenge starts now. silver skin that helps the mouth feel that stuff is absolutely inedible when it's cooked eats like uh, a steel belted radial so you want to remove that he's uh, reducing some of the fat as well there's plenty of fat in it but uh, taking that excess actually increases the nutritional value so at this point it looks like he's just about ready So Chef, I see on your, your Earthquake Eddie's hot sauce, hot stuff, you've got several different applications for this. From tacos, you got dips and wings, nachos, like you would use your um, habaneros and your other peppers. So you're making a little compound, almost a bistro sauce. Salt, a little crushed black peppercorn, yep. nice and savory. And there he goes, he's uh, putting the marinated pork in the cooler. Okay, just so you know, she's uh, due in here in about 20 minutes. So I see you're using the applewood smoked bacon. So he's going to use that fat rendered down from the bacon as part of his dressing. Now he's peeling a white onion. Again, 
about comfort food, it has to be easy for the customer to eat in addition to the familiarity of the ingredients. It's important that the customer identifies the item. It can have a bit of an edge to it, which it looks like that's what chef's doing, but at the same time it has to be familiar. That's the epitome of comfort food. Looks like he's chiffonading that. Nice fine chiffonade. It's also nice to say that word, it's fun. It's got, uh, uh, again, easy to eat. When you, when you eat this product, it literally melts in your mouth. The vegetable base, yes, classic terrine vegetable base. There you go, nice, look at the color of that. Get some nice color in there now. Cutting the golden delicious into a julienne, and then what? Oh, I see. A nice, nice dice. Chef, I'm looking at the clock. I'm a little concerned about your pace. At this point, um, it's going to be quite um, unforgiving in the next few minutes, so no pressure, but step it up, man. So here's the sweet sour he was talking about. Little amber syrup, beautiful stuff. Cooling. So you're gonna leave it in raw while it's cooling so it'll finish without overcooking. Yes. Because the chutney you shouldn't cook. You don't need to. No. It's just um, gonna add those little extra herb and spice seasonings. And you're putting it on there just to cool just it? To cool, chef. One thing you don't want to do is try to work with hot ingredients with phyllo dough. Very, very sensitive stuff. I think maybe he heed my warning when I said tick tock, tick tock. On goes the tenderloins right on the hot grill. Oh. So he's going to take the marinated pork tenders that he just threw on the grill, sear them on the outside, take them off, cut them into mignonettes or medallions, and then from there, he's going to finish them in the oven so he can control that cooking. I would imagine to a perfect medium. Yes. Which is slightly pink in the middle. Now this is not for the squeamish right here. Filo dough. Filo dough will humble the best chefs. I don't want to tell you what time you got left. It might put a panic in your heart. A little Optimax. That's yeah. uh, all vegetable canola oil first. That's a high oleic acid uh, canola oil. Very, very healthy. Now he's putting those mignonettes medallions back on the grill and it looks like he's got generous amounts of that marinade on there which absolutely look delicious and if you could just smell this. Now the main ingredient uh, besides the peppers is watermelon rind. Yes. This is a recipe that uh, US Food Service has had in the Monarch label for about a hundred and, uh, well, close to a hundred years. So this is a classic item, condiment for relish. And that chutney is gonna give it a, that sort of exotic spice flair. Grand Padano, yes. One of my favorite cheeses, probably the best Parmesan cheese on the planet, would you agree? Yes. He's slicing it and I think he's ready to take those medallions off the grill. Nice color, chef. Thank you. You got like a minute and a half there. No, yeah. closer to two minutes. I don't see any sweat. <laughs> so that's an apple cider vinegar. Again, a Monarch label. Exclusive yeah. through U.S. Foods. A little sea salt, cracked black peppercorn. And here comes the arugula, a little cross valley arugula. So 
So now he's running for the plate. Um, it's getting pretty close. Chef? On the plate, he's got the dressing ready to go, and now he's plating up his medallions of pork that have been marinated in the Miss Sydney's marination, and they have an absolute beautiful color. And here comes the strudel coming out of the oven. That's the filo strudel. Now that is a pretty handsome dish. Chef, we're down to the last 12 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, Chef AJ. Yes. The criteria I gave you in your challenge was to create either an entree yes. or an appetizer yep. that had a wow factor, certainly gave the customer a value perception. Yes. And in addition to that, I think you more than exceeded it. Thank From you, a Sean. visual as it lands in front of me, yep. wow. texturally, everything about it looks gorgeous. Thank I can't you. wait to try it. Thank you. Now, between the customer's taste buds and yes. mine, yes. I win. <laughs> so, arugula salad. Yep. We've Grand got Pitano. Grana Padano. Uh, a little bit of the Jamaica relish. Um, I love this idea. That's awesome. And of course the strudel. Look how flaky that is. So I'm gathering this is an entree. Yes. That is some very nice texture. Colors are right for the fall, for the season, which again was part of the challenge. And Oh, it's perfect. Just the way I like it. <laughs> this is exactly what I was looking for. With the bacon. Yeah. And the cabbage slaw just pulls out all that, that uh, flavor. And then you have the marinade on the meat, which is a nice crunchy exterior. Just has a delicious flavor profile. And this is not unusual for the market that she's catering to. This is quite, quite good. The combination of both, I think it's exactly what the customer's looking for. Chef, job well done. That just absolutely kicks ass.